So guys, today I'm going to be doing a quick unboxing of the Antec Cooler H2O 620. So this is the little brother to the Cooler H2O 920. Now the key difference between this one and the 920, they're both fairly similar in terms of the design, is the thickness of the radiator. So while the 620 uses a thinner style radiator that offers the advantage of better compatibility with cases on the market, the 920 is going to offer better performance due to the larger surface area. So you can see on the front of the box here, we have a picture of the product itself. So here's the radiator and fan, as well as the flexible tubing. This is a huge feature that the Cooler series has over other pre-done liquid cooling systems on the market because it gives you a lot more flexibility in terms of how you can route your tubing. There's the integrated CPU pump and water block, and let's see what they have to say for themselves on the box. So quick install, zero maintenance, that I'll believe. Here we've got quick install, zero maintenance. Okay, same thing. On the back, we've got Low profile pump ensures exceptional liquid circulation while preserving internal airflow. This is true. It does give you more clearance around the CPU socket area for uh, the MOSFET coolers to receive airflow. Okay, we've got intelligent noise speed control fan for quiet and efficient cooling. So that's a PWM fan included. We've also got non-corrugated easy bend tubing, which I talked about before in latest generation copper cold plate. And by cold plate, they're saying the same thing as what I mean when I say water block. Um, so water block is more of a DIY term, I guess. And uh, let's just see if there's anything I'm missing here on the box. Uh, yeah, here we go. So they're saying that the Cooler H20620 has slightly better performance than the first generation of pre-done liquid cooling systems on the market and obviously it just smokes the stock Intel cooler. All right. So let's see what we've got inside the box here. First thing we find is the mounting hardware. And what Antec's done creatively here, see this, is they have color coded the mounting hardware so that if you're using AMD, all you do is put in the green the green tabs into your mounting system. If you're using Intel, you put the blue tabs in and that way you can't accidentally mix them up because with some of the other products that were based on a similar design, the OEM is Asetek, which is quite obvious. It says Asetek right on the radiator. Um, they were all black and it could have been quite confusing. All right, it comes with an installation guide. So you can see here, it shows you all the stuff that's included with the 620, it shows you how to mount the radiator and fan to your case, as well as the CPU block slash pump unit to your motherboard. Next, we have the fan. It's a very beefy fan. Doesn't have much flex to it. Well built overall. It's got a seven blade design. Okay, there's little markings on it to show you which way the air moves. Oh, it's not PWM. This one is not PWM. This is a three pin fan connector, okay? And then finally, we have the Cooler 620 itself. So I'm going to take off the little plastic baggie that covers the CPU block and we're going to have a look at that first. So, here we are. You can see it has pre-applied thermal compound. This is an extremely high quality thermal compound. There will be no need to replace that unless for whatever reason you've installed it once and then you discover that you need to take it off. Well, then you'll have to clean off your CPU, clean off the bottom of the Cooler 620, reapply thermal compound and put it back on. Okay, you can see right here we've got rotary fittings. So that allows you the flexibility to have the fittings or the tubing approach the block from any angle without risking kinking it. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit here so I don't have to reach so far forward. There we go. So now you can see that a little bit better. There you go. Okay, we've got two cables coming out of the pump. One of them is for power to the pump right there. So that's a three pin, standard three pin power. And then the other one is for power to the fan. So this is actually an output. This allows the cooler software to, to intelligently control the pump and the fan according to liquid temperatures, I believe. At least the 920 does anyway. Hold on a second. Oh, bummer. Okay, it looks like I was wrong. The 620 doesn't include the software, so I would definitely recommend ponying up a little bit more for the 920, but the advantages that the 620 still has are the extremely flexible tubing, so I want you guys to check this out. No matter what you do to this stuff, pretty much, 
I want you to look at that whole knot that I've tied in the tubing. No kinking whatsoever. That ensures that you're going to get good flow of the liquid no matter how you have to route this to get to your CPU. Okay, so this is just straight power for the pump and fan and then an extension to the fan so that you have power to both of those things. All right. The Lantec logo on the top. Okay. Finally, we have the radiator. So, as I said before, the radiator actually has the Acetec branding right on it, so it's not like uh, it's not like it's any secret who makes this thing. There you go. You, hopefully, you can read that now. It is a thin profile radiator, so not the thicker style that is used in the 920. So performance is going to be about on par with a pretty good aftermarket air cooler. So why would you go with something like this? And the answer is fairly simple for me. The reason I would choose one of these pre-done liquid. I mean, for my own personal system, I have a custom liquid cooling setup, but. If I was going to build a more basic system, I would go with one of these over a high-end air cooler in certain scenarios. If I'm going to be moving the system around and if I'm worried about having all of that weight from a cooler hanging off of the CPU socket, then I would definitely consider one of these because you're taking the heaviest part, this is a, the radiator full of liquid, and you are bolting it to your case instead of to your motherboard. All you're bolting to your motherboard is a little pump unit. So there's not a ter terrific amount of weight on the motherboard itself. Whereas with a lot of tower air coolers, you're putting a huge amount of weight on the motherboard and that is a bit of a stressor on it. So that is pretty much it for the Cooler 620. Thank you for checking out my unboxing. Don't forget to subscribe to, is this thing really not gonna work for me? There we go. Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.